Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 96. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today's episode is going to be a little short because I haven't done a lot of stuff. And also, i got to start getting ready in a little bit. We're going to be, it's Sunday, the 24th. <laughs> and we're going to, um, you know, do family stuff today because Devin's off work. But I want to hop on real fast and record a little bit. I already made a couple clips that I'll be inserting to, to this video. Because I finished three items that I uh, had to go ahead and send off to the people who bought them. And uh, I got some mail that I recorded yesterday because I needed to clean up my area. And um, I'm just going to say a warning. I was sick yesterday. I was not feeling good at all. And in that video, you could probably tell it. And the lighting's not the greatest because it was rainy. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to share the email so that people who sent it knew that I got it. And um, so I could share everything they sent. So I will insert that clip at some point. <laughs> but I did have uh, three finished objects. Right, yeah, three finished objects, which I'll talk about in just a second. And then I have two whips that I've been working on. I haven't been working on much else just because we've been busy with those stuff. And it is the holiday season, so my my finished objects might drop a little. But it'll pick right back up, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about my finished objects and my whips. And then I'll get into all those other stuff at the end. <laughs> So my finished objects, um, I was commissioned from someone who was at my craft fair that I had in early October. Um, they took one of my business cards and then they commissioned me to make the Harry Potter character set. Um, it's, it's called Wizard Friends by Mary Smith because it's a licensed <laughs> image, but um, it's paid for a pattern by her. I got it forever ago. I think I was before I was, I think it was, yeah, it was before Jason Warren. I was pregnant with him when I made the first set. But, um, so she commissioned me to make her, make, uh, Harry, Ron, and Hermione. So I did do that. And, um, I think that turned out super cute. But I will start a clip real fast of me talking about that and, uh, showing them off. Hey guys, I wanted to hop in here and record a clip real fast. Because I don't have time today to film a whole No Kitchen Name episode. But I did finish some objects that won't be here after today, after tomorrow. Um, and I probably won't get to film till Sunday. Anyways, these are three, uh, finished objects that I got an order for from my craft fair someone who took my business card actually emailed me and ordered these and they're the Harry Potter characters um, little amigurumis so I made Hermione her scarf is covering her mouth but it's there so there's Hermione it's all red heart super serve yarn except the face the skin tone is I love this yarn light peach and the rest of it is I love our red heart and then I made Harry Got his little scar up there. <laughs> and he's all red heart again except the skin tone. And then Ron. His hair's a little crazy. I tried to uh, control his hair a little, but that's okay. And yeah, same all red heart except this skin. But I made the three of them for an order. And I gotta get them out tomorrow for the person. I made the same set before, and I'm going to show it in the next, the no catch name episode that this will be part of, um, about how my technique has changed, because it's the same exact pattern, but it looks totally different, and it's because I made the first set when I was first starting to make amigurumis in 2015. I was actually pregnant when I made the set, and then compared to this set, the size is different, the tension in the stitches is way better now than it was then, but I just thought that was interesting. But yeah, so these are my Harry Potter friends. This is a paid-for pattern by Mary Smith. It's called Wizard Friends because it's licensed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's cute. So they were pretty pretty easy. They were all made with Red Heart. I think I said this in the clip. Red Heart yarn except the skin tone was uh, I love this yarn's light peach. <laughs> and um, they were super fast. She messaged me a couple weeks ago and then I messaged her back but my message went to her spam. So I thought she wasn't interested after she, I told her the price. But um, turns out it just went to spam. So she did message me back. And she paid me before I even started working on them. She was happy to, she said. And so she sent me the money via PayPal. And uh, she was nice enough to send it as a uh, friend or whatever. So that they didn't take a fee out. So woohoo. <laughs> but um, she paid me for them. And I started on them, I think, Wednesday. This last Wednesday. Yeah. And I did the assembly line. I posted on my Instagram about it. I uh, made all their arms and feet and ears and scarves and all that kind of stuff first. And then I started the process of building their little bodies. And um, they were super fast. I made the majority of them 
uh, Wednesday, yeah, and then Thursday is when I made their hair because their hair is like the most time consuming part of uh, the pattern because it's a lot of loop stitches for the two boy characters and then the girl one is you do like little knots on, um, you weave the hair through, which is it's complicated <laughs> to explain, but it's, it's easy to do, it just takes a while. But I sat and made their hair while Jesse was playing a game one night on the TV. Um, and I was just watching him play and then making doll hair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're for pretty fast patterns. And she also has Hagrid and Snape and the Sorting Hat, Dobby, and Hedwig. At my craft fair in October, I actually sold the Hedwig. And the Hagrid doll, who is much bigger because you know he's a giant, <laughs> um, I won blue ribbon with him as in a toy category or no, it was doll category at my county fair in 2017. I entered him into that. So, <laughs> all right, that's my only finished objects this week. I think I'm trying to. I didn't make any ornaments or anything this week. No, I'm kind of confusing because I've been kind of not feeling well and uh, just a lot of stuff going on. But now for my whips, my first whip I'm going to show you guys is my snowman that I'm doing as part of a crochet along by Mary Smith also, and it's hosted on a Facebook group. Um, it's called Made by Mary Cal C A L on Facebook and she does one every month I, I said this like a thousand times uh, just about every month uh, one of her patterns and um, everybody who finishes it within the time frame usually gets a free pattern at the end I'm not sure if she still does that way because it's been a while since I've done it but this week is actually the last week for this but this month's was uh, frosted snowman pattern he came out big so this week this past week's um, part of the cow was to do his face and his hat so here's his face <laughs> She uses safety eyes, but I didn't have big enough safety eyes, so I just crocheted ovals and stitched on the little white glit or whatever. And I made a little crooked smile, because I like the crooked smiles. And his nose is a 3D nose. And then his hat. Shwink. <laughs> I was going to stuff his hat and sew it on, but I thought it would be easier for me to store him in a tote without his hat on his head. Because it does have cardboard up here to uh, make it flat. I need to push it back up in there, actually. It stays when I'm not moving it. Um, and I thought it would help me keep his hat in the right shape <laughs> if I could separate it from his body and store it. But his hat is uh, one whole piece and then these little berries and leaves are separate. And it is all Red Heart Super Silver Yarn except the brim of his hat. Or not not the brim, but the ribbon is Karen Party, I think it's called. Uh, it's the red color. And then next, this week, I have to do his little vest with the buttons. Um his candy cane. Oh, and there's like a little brooch type thing on his vest, I think. But I'm going to make his vest out of Karen Party green sparkly. And then uh, the buttons are crocheted buttons and his candy cane looks like a candy cane. So, um, yeah, he's he's big. <laughs> he's really cute. Alright, now i got him sitting in the living room even without his vest on. I think he's super cute. He turned out really well, I think. I like his hat and everything. He's pretty easy. He's so cute. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to keep the hat not sewed onto his head because I think it would be a lot easier to store him uh, in a tote after the holidays. Okay, the last whip, that is a paper pattern too, by the way, I forgot to say that. The last whip that I have um, been working on is my Christmas tree skirt. And I've only added one, two, and a little bit rows. Or here's where I was on this red row, this third red row. So I finished the third red row, I did a whole white row. And I just started the second white row. This morning, I was watching Hannah's newest video. But this is a free pattern, and I'll link it below. It's uh, I have had it for years, probably since it was first posted on this forum. And a woman named Lisa is the one who wrote it and posted it on a forum. And I will share that below. I haven't been able to find any more information for her to contact her or anything. But she did post it in a public space, so um, I'm assuming she doesn't mind for people to share it. But this is so far it. Still needs to get bigger because my tree is really fat on the bottom or really wide. I really don't like that because I don't know why they make Christmas trees like that now. They do, there's no room underneath to put presents. <laughs> I guess they want you to set them beside the tree. But like the older trees, when I was growing up and even like my father-in-law's, they still have an older tree. <clears throat> like the bottom, you know, there's a big space between the bottom of the tree and the floor for you to put presents. Our tree and all the trees like at Walmart and stuff don't have that space anymore and I wish that they did because you know how are you gonna put presents under a tree um it's just you know it's not traditional and I wish it was traditional <laughs> I need to find like an old tree I guess that I can actually put presents under 
But yeah, so I think it's turning out pretty. It is basically a 12 point star blanket, just not connected. And I'm using um, Red Heart Spring Green, White, and Cherry Red. And I love these colors. I'm a really traditional Christmas color kind of person. <laughs> red and white and green. And um, <clears throat> this also reminds me of the Grinch because of this color. And I love the Grinch. So it's all good. But I'm using the K-hook for that. And it's slowly coming along. I kind of pull it out and just work on it every now and then. I don't know if it'll actually be done before this Christmas. But I'll have it for next year. <laughs> Alright, that's all of my... Um, Fat, fat, uh, blah, blah, blah. What am I trying to say? Finished objects and whips. Uh, I do have a pattern that I'm working on. I guess I could show that real fast. It's right here. It's actually it's still attached to yarn. This is just the base of it. <laughs> I'm actually going to add some stuff to it. It's a jar of cozy. My hook's in there. And my stitch marker. But um, it's just a gar jar, blah, blah, jar cozy. This is a ball jar. I don't know if ball jars and mason jars are shaped the same. We always have ball, jar ball jars. But, um, I got the actual pattern for this part written out. I just, there's parts that's going to be attached to it. I think it's in my mind it's going to be super cute. <laughs> but I don't know if it's going to be super cute in real life. <laughs> I was watching The Crown, binge watching the new season of that. Um, and making this that night. And this yarn is a, uh, Devil Everyday. I can't remember what it's called. I got another skin of it over there, but I don't want to go get it. Let's see here. I think it's a Devil, Debra, whatever her name is. <laughs> Debra Norval Everyday. I think it's that. I'll show you when I'm actually talking about this pattern because I'm not doing that now. I'm just showing it to you. <laughs> but uh, it's just a little pattern that I'm going to write up. I don't know if it's going to be one of those free ones I've been writing or if I'm going to charge for it. I'll just have to wait and see how much work it is to actually get the other parts on there because this part's really simple. But uh, we'll see in the future, I guess. Okay, so I did, did also get some happy mail that I, I mentioned. And I'll insert that clip here real fast. And uh, it's kind of awkward, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Hey guys, I wanted to hop on real fast. Jesse's in the living room. This is not a planned out video at all. I don't feel good. You can probably tell by the way I look. <laughs> but um, I wanted to keep making clips to put all together in a video eventually. Of, uh, oh, I forgot what I was saying. So that I don't forget. <laughs> so I don't actually forget what I'm trying to share with you guys. I already filmed one yesterday of some finished objects that my sister came and picked up to deliver to the person who ordered them. So I wanted to hop on here and do a mail haul real fast so that I could go ahead and put all this stuff up that's kind of on my desk and in my way <laughs> uh, and start using stuff that's been gifted in. and there's some toys it quietly <laughs> for Jesse um, that as soon as he sees them he's going to want them. So I'm going to film that real fast and then I'm going to put it in probably the No Catch Name episode whenever I get around to filming it. Okay, so I have to <laughs> I'm trying to get this all organized a little bit. Alright, I'll show cards first. I got two cards right here. The first one is from Florida. I can't remember the name. Let me look. Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. I'm so sorry. Tanya, Tanya maybe, and Jose from Florida. Their name wasn't on the card, just address. But they sent me a Christmas card. I got this. Did it say on here? This is the 18th, but it, I got it a couple donut, days after donut, that. Donut. This is a donut. <laughs> But it's a really cute donut, snowman donut, with a cardinal. Donut. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't feel good. I'm sorry, guys. But they wrote me a really nice letter in there, and I do appreciate it. Thank you. I can't remember what day I picked this up. I think Wednesday or Thursday. I love Christmas cards. I still haven't started hanging them up yet because I want to make sure I show them all, and then I'm going to start hanging them up somewhere. I need to get one of those um, cord thingies. I don't feel good. <laughs> I feel like my head is spinning around. Okay, the next one came with a stitch marker in it, but it's, let me fix it real fast. It kind of came apart, but that's okay. I can fix it. Ugh. Fix it better later. This one is from Linda in South Carolina. And it's really pretty uh, wreath. It says hope. <laughs> I'm sure it said hope. And she wrote a little note in there. And it had a stitch marker in it. Um, the envelope with it. <laughs> But going through the mail, it must have got uh, hung on something and it broke it a little. The um, the clasp, but that's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it because I got a hundred of these and I could just put a new one on there. But the stitch marker is a little pair of scissors. So I just got to fix that. Let me put that somewhere where I don't lose it. But yeah, so that happens a lot with envelopes because they're, you know, so small. You know, envelopes have to be a certain size to fit through a certain slot to count 
um, if they need more stamps or whatever. Well, this is what they did. Post office told me. <laughs> also wait, but um, you know when they go through those things, if something's in the envelope, it can get hung a little, and that's just what happened. I've had a, quite a few uh, stitch markers do that. And I actually got a thing once from Australia from Lee from Totally.net. And it was completely out of the envelope. I guess the only way they knew that it was mine is because it was from Australia. And the thing she sent me was kangaroo <laughs> magnet. Which is on my refrigerator. Alright, let's see here. That's all the cards I got. Also got my electric bill. <laughs> and uh, then I got a package from Tracy in Alabama. I never heard of where she's from, Alabama. I've been through a good hunk of Alabama. Because me and Devin's been down to the Gulf Shores twice. And I've been in the northern part of Alabama a whole lot because I used to date a guy from there a long time ago. But, um, anyways. Yeah. So she did send me a card in it. She sent me a really cool gift. I can't wait to show you guys. But she sent me a bunch of gifts, actually. But she had a little card with a, a flower sticker. <laughs> but, you know, she had a card in there, and I'm not going to read it, but thank you, Tracy. And she sent me some goodies. Just some, you know, goodies. <laughs> Another notebook, which you can never have too many blonde paper and it's purple paper <laughs> purple paper purple paper and then she said two things for jesse i'm gonna only show you one they're the same thing because i'm gonna put one in his box i have a box of toys and stuff like that in, in here that i pull out of when he needs to be distracted or cheered up or something so i'll give him one of these and the other one will be hidden but it's a um it's called a wrist copter and this one you put it on your wrist and you pull it and the little thing spins up in the air. We actually play with things similar to this. They have some at the Dollar Tree that's just like the stick with three of the little blades. We play with them like crazy. We've had multiple ones and played with them. But this one's actually one that goes on your wrist. So I think he'll like that. But I'm not going to give it to him just yet. He's coming so I'm hiding it because I don't want him doing it while I'm trying to film. I have to keep cutting because Devin's messaging me. He's on break so I'm going to message him and record. <laughs> and look up. But she also sent um, a little another little packet <laughs> and a little note that said that these are cute on the fridge so they're magnets and they're butterflies it's a gray one and it does have a my finger wasn't in the way a magnet on it now that i've showed you guys i can stick it on my fridge and she doesn't know this but now she will i actually needed magnets because we have a marker board that's magnetic too that i put bills and stuff on and uh, i was running out of magnets and i was gonna have to buy more but now i got two more so woo. And then this one is gray also, but it's also got color in it. It's like a, from a, like a variegated skein or a cake or something. It's got like pink in it, which is cool because I love pink. And it's a magnet too. I've seen these before, but never made any, so it's neat. And then she sent me this really pretty necklace. Is this her card? I guess it is. Yeah. I'm not going to show that. Well, it doesn't have her phone number on there. It's just got her Etsy shop and her email on there. So I think it's okay. But she made this me. I don't know if she made it for me or she had it and decided to give it to me. But it's like a scarf necklace with beads on it. Hey boo. It's a tilly green color. It is so pretty. I like it a lot. It doesn't go good with one my sick face and two my predator shirt. But <laughs> it'll go good with something. Hey boo. <laughs> but uh, I love it and I can't wait to use it. It's beautiful. And then the last thing she sent me was like the most exciting. <laughs> she has no idea. She actually mentioned it in her letter that she's been wanting to make one of these for someone. And then she thought, you know, who would who would love it and appreciate it or whatever. And it, me is who came to mind. And she's totally right. Because I've always wanted to get one of these. I mean, this flat box was for fun in a cage. We don't have that flat box anymore. And that cage is put up. Hmm. I have a big black crate. He likes to pretend it's a cage. It's put up in the closet. I love the well, maybe I'll go dig it out in a minute, but let Mama finish this right now, okay? Okay, sorry, I had to cut again to message Devin. What I was saying is I was, I've always wanted one of these, and I've always wanted to make one, but I'm not that good at paper crafts. I've always tried to get into it, but I'm kind of not good at it, so I need to stick to fiber. But um, she sent me, they're called pocket, what are they called? I forgot, I forgot. Pocket letter, and it's basically, it's like a collector card, like back in Pokemon days. <laughs> you'd put, um, what, 18? Pokemon cards in it, their card sleeves or whatever, but you put all kinds of little uh, papers that people can reuse in their paper crafts, and then she put buttons and candies and teas and all kinds of stuff, and I'm just excited to show it to you guys, but I will tell you it is disheveled because when I got it and I opened it, it was all spilled out because of the mail, and um, I just tried, you okay? Are you okay? <coughs> Sit still and chew your candy up. You don't need to be playing when you got candy in your mouth, okay? 
You're scared, Mama. Mama have a heart attack if something happens to you. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just kind of stuck it all back in there. It's probably not how uh, you packaged it, but I just kind of tried to fix it because I, I knew what it was supposed to be, but it was all spilled out in the tissue paper. She wrapped it really cute in tissue paper with stickers on it too, but of course I ripped through that. <laughs> but here's the front of the pocket letter. And so you just fill each of the little pockets up with stuff, like there's buttons and stitch markers and little papers that you can reuse, candies, and then on the back side there's also, this looks like one of those magnet things. Oh, it is! Woo! <laughs> um, teas, another magnet. And then off the side, she's got like this keychain that reminded me of Holly because it's pink and pineapple. And then this, uh, I'm not sure if this is a bracelet. Yeah, it's bracelets. I couldn't tell if it's bracelets or beads, like strung beads. And then some more stitch markers down here. And it's just so cool. I have always wanted one of these. And now I'm planning on, after I finish filming this, I'm going to tear it apart and look at everything. <laughs> and um, what I think I might do is the papers I will leave in there. If there's nothing on them. I don't know. I haven't looked at them yet. <laughs> And maybe hang this up somewhere to put other little things people send me in. Because I like keeping everything people send me. And just, you know, just happy moment makes me happy when I look at it. And uh, so this is so cool. It's just got beads and stuff. I can't really take it all out and show it to you. It would take a while. But it's just got all kinds of goodies. No more Tootsie Rolls. You don't want no more Tootsie Rolls? Okay. How about, can you go um, and get in garbage? Yeah, you can go spit it in the garbage if you don't want it no more. I love those Tootsie Rolls. These stitch markers down here are heavy. They feel like they're like real actual stone or something. This is made with love. But I can't wait to just go through here. This is like a little sewing machine. Button. It's a button. It's just so cool. And it's got little uh, sticky notes and stuff. So I can't wait to like actually put this into this and use it. I don't know. The camera's crooked because I have you kind of set up there because I keep moving the camera. But anyways, that's all the Happy Mail that I got. Other than I did get a package from another a yarn dyer who contacted me and wanted to know if I could review the yarn and I've seen other people get her yarn too so I did get that and I will show it to you guys but in a separate video because I'm gonna give it its own video but uh, I'll give you a tiny sneak peek of one of them oh, it almost kind of looks like a certain color <laughs> but I gotta go because Devin's talking to me and Jesse's playing with my shoes oh and these are these are technically a gift the person who sees this video if they're the ones who sent it to me they'll know what it is but this came with something that i got the other day and um but it was like a private gift or whatever so but just has been playing well but anyways i'm gonna go rip into this because i want to look at all the stitch markers and buttons and stuff and uh, i will see you guys in another clip this will probably be in no kitchen name 96 um just because i i'm, I'm super red and i just don't feel good <laughs> i'm just not well right now and um so i'm just Recording little clips so I can remember what I want to talk about in the Kitchen Name episode. So it's going to be all over the place. So uh, it may not be everybody's cup of tea, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a different clip in a minute. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay, so that's all my happy moment. I, I don't remember if I said it in there, but thanks to everyone who sent me cards and to the package from Alabama. I got the, the necklace scarf thing right here. It's so pretty. <laughs> um, but I wanted to put most of that up, and I did, kind of. <laughs> but... Um, I did also get that yarn like I mentioned and I showed it a little bit and I will make a new video for that maybe later today to put out uh, today or tomorrow and I also have a tag video I got to record and something else there's I have four videos on my list and this no kitchen name one is one and then those other two I can't remember the other one is oh well <laughs> I'll remember it when I look at my list but the only the last thing I want to mention or bring up a little bit is the Ho Copa YouTube change um, People's been messaging me and emailing me and everything about it. <laughs> um, but my plan right now is just I'm waiting to see what happens. They're still collecting information and comments and messages from creators until the 9th of December. So I'm going to wait till after that to see if they take that information and run with it. Um, either way, we have to the end of the year to make changes. So I did. I have already made a lot of my vlogs private. All of them, actually. <laughs> and... Um, I changed some of my thumbnails, but that's just so that if it does change for the worst, I don't have so much to do that last week of December. <laughs> and worst case, you know, if everything goes good, I could just make them all public again. It's easy. You know, it's just selecting them and hitting uh, public. So the videos are still there and they'll come back out if everything comes back normal. But I am going to continue making videos like normal. Like I'm still filming this and I'm still got this whole list of videos I'm filming this week. And I'm still going to do Vlogmas. And I'll start that actually this Thanksgiving, this next Thursday, because um, 
I kind of count that as the beginning of the Christmas season when Thanksgiving starts and is over. So all my videos will still be the same as usual. <laughs> I'm not going to freak out and jump off the ship right now. I'm going to wait and see what happens because they are accepting comments and stuff. So I think they're open to changing. Um, in this situation, the FTC are the good guys and the YouTube people are the not so good guys because YouTube's trying to save their butt and they're not really caring what happens to the creators. But with that being said, they're not, I don't feel like they're going to kick a whole, whole bunch of people off the platform because they make their money through the creators. <laughs> if it wasn't for the YouTube creators, they wouldn't be making all the money that they do. So I think they're going to find a medium, medium ground to meet at. Because right now YouTube has two options, kid friendly and not kid friendly. And channels like mine are in the middle. We're family friendly. We're not directed towards kids, but kids can watch us without getting scarred. Uh, some of us. <laughs> I don't, I'm not so sure about some of the channels because uh, things that people say and stuff. But, um, you know, like my channel is completely fr fr family friendly. I never cuss and I never um, do things that are only for adult eyes. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't crochet, you know, adult themed things. But um, with that being said, you know, I'm not directed towards kids. I'm not like a kid channel. I don't open toys and make amigurumis and you know, shove them, you know, try to sell them to kids or whatever. They're, all my channels, you know, I made, all my videos are made with people my age and older in mind. That's what I, you know, when I started the channel, that's what I was thinking. I never thought about being a kid channel, but, um, probably should have, you know, a few years ago, because I could have got a lot of money for that, because kid channels are huge, <laughs> but now it's coming back to bite them in the butt, I guess. But, um, basically what I'm going to do, like I just said, is I'm just going to wait and uh, see what happens. And, um, if it changes for the worst, like it's if it's going to get as bad as a lot of people are saying, then I'm probably still going to make videos. I'm just going to switch it to kid friendly. <laughs> and what my idea is to uh, temporarily use Facebook group as the way for communicating with you guys still. But um, just temporarily until I get a website up and running. Uh, because then I could have my Etsy shop on the website and I can also have a blog area for the free patterns I've been writing. And then also make a forum, kind of like Ravelry and like in the early 2000s, all everybody used to talk on forums. That's my heat kicking on um, for communicating for the videos. So my idea is if that happens and my comments get turned off, I can still make a video and then link in the description to the forum where you can go and leave comments and you know discuss everything in the videos. Um, that's worst case scenario though. I don't think that's going to happen. I think things are going to change a little bit. But I don't think it's nearly it's going to be as bad as people are putting videos out because you have to remember that these channels that are putting all these videos out that are fear mongering they're getting money for these videos every view that people watch and every share cat just went by out the window the people share their videos they're getting money so uh, it's kind of like the news in real life where they they dramatize everything horribly to get people to watch it and share it and comment it's the same thing on YouTube. These people are making money off of these videos that are scaring people and having people share them and having all their friends watch it. So I wouldn't, I would take it with a grain of salt for now. I would just, if, you know, if you're a creator or if you're just a watcher who's concerned about losing all the channels you love to watch, which is kind of what I am, <laughs> um, just wait. Just, you know, be patient through the holiday season and wait and see what happens. That's all I can say because, uh, they're taking comments and stuff for a reason. They're not just doing it just to have them. They're, I'm, I feel like they're gonna try to have YouTube meet in the middle. Because right now it's all on YouTube. They're the ones that's separating it into just two categories when there needs to be a third one. Because there are people, thousands and probably hundreds of thousands of channels that are family friendly that aren't directed towards kids but aren't 18 plus. Like all of us yarny people. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so just waiting. Everybody's just waiting. And uh, all I can say is don't freak out. And if you're super worried about it, you can go ahead and start putting some of your videos on private like I have. I just did that just so that if it does turn bad, it's not so much work the last week of December because we're already going to be really busy because it's Christmas time. Um, I don't want to have to be busy on the computer when Devin's off work and Jesse's home and all that, you know. So, uh, but yeah, I'm just waiting. Like everybody else, I'm just waiting to see. And uh, whatever I do decide, I will definitely share it with you guys the whole entire time. Um, because you guys are the whole reason I make these videos. And I wouldn't be making them if it weren't for you. So, that's all I can say. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because Jesse's still asleep and I need to go wake him up. <laughs> but, um, and I'll see you guys later. I got to do a yarn video. I got to do a tag video. And there's another one. I can't remember it. But I have it written down. 
<laughs> but there's gonna be at least three more videos coming out this week so you guys will see me in that and then some vlogs will start this weekend for Thanksgiving maybe one today depending on what we get into but anyways thanks for watching and for subscribing oh, I can't talk thanks for watching and subscribing like the video if you like it share it if you think someone else will like it subscribe if you're not and I'll see you in the next video bye guys